God's blessings to you as we gather for our weekly reflection on faith, justice, peace, and community. I pray that these reflections might stir within each of us a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace, seeking to be, seeking to be spiritually fed in order to better honor God's love and faithfulness to us in the ways that we care for ourselves and each other. In this Sunday's Gospel, we have a miracle story within a miracle story. One, a healing. One, a resuscitation of a young girl who has died. The story begins with a synagogue official who appeals to Jesus on behalf of his little daughter, who is near death, and who later on in the story is told that she is dead. Jesus immediately accompanies the official, but is met by crowds seeking to touch him to be healed, including one woman who has been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years. For some reason, he stops in the middle of the crowd to call out only this woman. She comes to him, sees her, and he sees her faith, and blesses her in front of the crowd. He has not only returned her health, but he has also returned her into full stature as a member of the community, a community that probably shunned her because of her illness. Then Jesus continued his on his way to the house where the little girl has been declared dead. Despite the protestations of the crowd gathered outside, Jesus ignores them because he is intent on responding to the synagogue official's faith, faith that Jesus would heal his daughter and faith that his family would be made whole again. Again this Sunday, we are reminded that Jesus responds to our needs when expressed with sincere belief that he can and will help us if it is God's will. We are also reminded that Jesus' mission was always about healing and wholeness for individuals, for families, for communities, and for our world. As disciples of Jesus, we are asked to take on that mission as well. We are invited to reconcile the differences within ourselves, within all of our relationships, and wherever there is division or inequality that separates us materially, socially, emotionally, or spiritually, Jesus' deepest longing, as expressed in the Gospel of John, is that all may be one. It's a great mission statement. Do we believe that God can make this happen? Do we believe that we have a responsibility in that mission? Do our words and actions promote unity, inclusion, and fair treatment of every human being and for the environment that supports? It starts with sincere faith is propelled by hope and expressed always in love. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family here at St. Agatha, I want to thank you for all the ways that you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. Please join us this Sunday for our regular services, either in person or online. Thank you, and in all things, be blessed.